Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is Plasma Cutting 101 Part 2. This is one of the, my favorite pieces I've ever cut out. Um, it really, it takes a lot of metal and takes a lot of work uh, to get it to stand off like this. And I mean, it's two pieces of metal. And just for people that don't know about this, this both pieces were sandblasted and the uh, version of Christ's face was then uh, buffed with a SOS pad on like a die grinder little wheel. And if you have some questions about that. But anyway, I, I need to cut another one out. And I needed to find the file and it took, it had been years since I'd cut one and it took me a while to find it. But you see, I've got my page set on 48 by 48. But if we look at this file, and it must have been something I started with. If we grab it with the shape tool and select all the nodes, there are <clears throat> 2,283 nodes. That would drive a plasma cutter bonkers. It would slow it down because the plasma cutter goes from node to node. The easiest way I found to do this and what we're going to do, we're going to make a duplicate of this and just kind of show you that I'm not going to change the figure too much. So with it selected, grab your shape tool and then select all the nodes and they're going to fill in solid. Go right here to your curves uh, smoothness and you can move your slide bar. I have always found it safe just to type in 20. And if you look now, we have 251 nodes. One tenth or so about as many as we had. So it's a lot better. <clears throat> and then you could still clean it up. Uh, you know, maybe if you were concerned about some sharp points, you know, you could clean up some of this or just take away some nodes that maybe not needed. Like that's a node between two lines, not really needed. We could go back and give that nose a little bit of curve if we wanted. So any node that's Maybe not needed. That one wasn't needed. That one really wasn't needed. Uh, here's two right here that aren't needed to make it work. You know, it changed it up a little bit, but did it change it too much? Like that one maybe changed it too much. So any node that's between, like there's a double node, delete it. You know, just go through here. Any node that's between two other nodes, you can normally delete. Now, that took away from the contour of the face. But you can just go through here and take a few nodes away. You know, at that time you want to look, is this part too close to that part? So you could grab those two nodes and bring that eye down a little bit. Give you a little bit more room between your plasma cutter. Um, you know, there's another node. I, look at here. There's three nodes right there. Didn't change. There's a node right there. It didn't change. Two double nodes right there. So I think we had 251. And without really making any difference, we now have 238. We've reduced it by 10 or more. <clears throat> now, let me do this. Let me turn this one black and put it in the center of the page <clears throat> and look at the difference. Very little different. That nose is different. So I, I might want to back and change that. You know, I can, I can easily change it. Take my node, maybe add a node right there and kind of bring this in. You know, if you really, if you, but it's your piece of work. Uh, so don't worry about it too much. As long as you have it, uh, change the uh, nodes too much. Now, so which, I can't remember which one we, so that's our bad one. We're going to delete it. That's our good one. We can always grab the shape tool and you can see the nodes. You know, there's probably a few more we could delete. You know, <clears throat> uh, the main gentleman I'm trying to help right now has a burn table, Generation 5, and it's, the nodes aren't going to be as, effective on a good table. Let's see what happens if we delete that note. 
<clears throat> when you delete that, let's look at that. It's going to give you a smoother <clears throat> transition. You know, even that, because you can always take that one and bring that back down. Now let's look at that. Not needed. All right, so now we're done with it. I <clears throat> always put it at the bottom of my drawing, because this is where your home point is. I never have problems saving it instead of exporting it. So go up to File, Save As, go right here on Save As Type as a DXF. And I'm going to call it DXF. Just so I'll know, it will actually mark it. But in case I want to revert to that other one. And then right here, <clears throat> you shouldn't have to change anything. You know, it can edit as curves because it is curves. I don't really understand the unmapped fields because there's really a, no, nothing there. Say, okay. Then you're ready to take that over your plasma cutter and cut out. And then what I do is just, depending on what size you want, <clears throat> this is 18 by, you know, if you want to make it with your ratio lock, make this, let's make this 16. You know, make it a little bit less. My uh, number locks were unlocked. Hit P, put it in the center peg. And then kind of figure out what size, you know, rectangle you want. You know, you don't need too much in hit P. You just want enough to rust. Or rust or paint or, you know, do whatever you want to with it. You can actually hold down the shift key and bring that in proportionally. So you've got a piece that's, let's just make it. 18 for right now. Look at that. You've got to make sure you turn that red, and then you would cut that out separately. <clears throat> anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.